All right, it's Brian and Barbara with two Indians. Two. What's up, guys? Brian at Two Indians. How y'all doing today? Now, I know you guys are waiting for the Durango Rendezvous videos, not to mention a bunch of other stuff that I've got sitting in the hopper. And I get it, and I appreciate that. And they're actually gonna be pretty awesome. Even though, like usual, I didn't get enough video of what I wanted to capture. Uh, it's always a problem for me. You get to the point where you don't want to be carrying a camera all the time. You just want to enjoy it for what it is. You just want to, you know, have fun and not have to have a camera in everybody's face, not to mention your own face, and always having to come up with something witty or interesting to say. I forgot to hit the record button. Those videos will be coming soon, but tonight is something a little different. It's actually going to be a little bittersweet for me. Uh, and maybe for some of you too, because we're gonna say so long to somebody that you guys probably like and care a lot about. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's go for a ride. Bike night, you know. Let's do it. So there's this guy that some of you may know. His name is Ron, and he's been in a bunch of our videos going all the way back to our New Year's Day ride in 2020. He's also been in our Daytona ride video, That's how we roll, baby. <laughs> my Iron Butt Bun Burner Gold Ride, and of course our second anniversary get together in Robbinsville, That's which right. is still I'm one of my favorite videos of all time. Uh, the question, I'm gonna start with you first. Okay. Why do you hate Brian so much and love Barbara? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't put me on the spot. Inquiring minds want to know. Hi. Hi, Kevin. Whatever. So my my question for y'all is is what is Brian not the absolute worst YouTuber you've ever seen in your life? No, no, no. I there's, there's at least no. You're right. Uh, this is Javier. Yes. Javier has a very very big big. Bore kit on his Harley. Oh, there you go. And, <laughs> I was there for a minute. <laughs> and and Brian has a very, very. Well, he's got a big bore kit on his Indian. And uh, no. If you haven't seen these videos, go check them out. They are a blast. But right now, I'm riding down to our favorite destination for what could be Ron's last bike night here in Central Florida. And it gave me time to think about what an amazing impact this guy has made on so many lives around here in just a few short years. But more on that in a minute. Right now, I need to get some gas. Welcome to Florida Track. Shit. Left my wallet at home. Luckily they take Apple Pay here. But I don't know what I'm gonna do with the bar. There's my people. So we're at this place called Garage Bar. I'm gonna yeah. miss you, buddy. Yeah. Exactly. We're all gonna miss Ron. So nothing's gonna be the same without him. What's up, buddy? I love you, man. I love you, man. I miss you. I'm gonna oh. miss you. I'll, I won't be too far. You can trailer up to me yeah. anytime, dude. <laughs> wah, wah. Very funny. <laughs> What's up? Cisco, how you doing, man? Good. Good. Oh, and that's Maria. Mrs. Ron, as we call her. No, we, we never call her that. No, please don't. How you doing, man? Oh, my goodness. Ron just made it down. Oh, don't act so surprised. Special appearance just for Ron and Maria. 
Oh, hi. How are you? All right, so you guys may not know the story, the origin story. That's what they call it these days, right? Is that about, what it is? Yeah, about how it's it's not Marvel, okay? Okay, all right. All right. <laughs> he is a superhero, but it's not Marvel. About how we met. Do you remember? Because I, I have my version. What about your version? I absolutely do. Okay. So it was July of 2019. Oh, I don't remember it being summer. Oh, I do. Okay. So it was July of 2019. Uh-huh. Right? And I started this Facebook group, uh -huh. right? And it was like Indian cruiser riders yep. mm -hmm. of Central Florida. And yeah, it just had this like 38 word name, <laughs> which we eventually shortened to cruiser riders of, of Central, Central Florida. Florida. Only five words, yeah. So what I can tell you is that you know, we had this group and it was just slow rolling and I started it because there just wasn't anything online in the area. Yeah, for people like yeah. us to get together Cause, and cause ride. Because yeah. the, mm -hmm. the first bike I bought getting back into riding was at Indian Scout, yep. right? And I was so proud and, you know, wanted to tool around. So anyway, so we created that group. Um, at some point, not too long after starting it, like you found, you I joined, joined the group. I found it, yeah. But then what happened? There is, were like ten people. Yeah, there, it was. Right? It was literally ten people. If there were even that many, yeah. Phil Mays yeah, was in Phil there. Phil Mays. You That's all I there. remember. You being um, Phil. Yeah. Maybe George. Well, you guys might have brought Georgina in them, but anyways. Yep. Uh huh. Anyways, so you posted a video of a ride, and it was the coolest thing because I had just started watching YouTube videos and. You know, uh, Dan Dan the Fireman and Blockhead was just getting started, and right. some of some of these other right. you know names. Right? Uh -huh. Well, so all of a sudden you post this video of you riding through Central Florida and just some of the most beautiful hills, scenery, and, yeah, I, yeah. and I either sent you a private like a Facebook Messenger message or That's something exactly like that. That's exactly what it was. That's and I was I and yeah. I was like. I was like, where, what route is that? What did you yeah. take? This, that, and the other. And then, <laughs> right. well, one thing lead, led to another. Yep. In January 2020, uh -huh. we had just hit 100 people in the group. Uh, yeah. And we did that big group ride right. that started at the bank. That started, yeah. At, over that, in Longwood. that was my New Year's Day ride. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so we did that. And then if you look at, like, the, our group photo, yeah. you put that together yep. uh -huh. way back when. Whoa, wow. And in that photo, you'll see, like, James Johnson on his chopper. Yeah, and Kapansky. Kapansky is in there. Yeah. In there. Yeah. So, uh -huh. so it's like, so every, that's why I've never changed it, because, like, like that was it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's that's yep. really when it started. That's right. Off. The, the banner photo fr is from that it's ride. From that I took ride. a screen grab yeah. from that. Yeah, yeah. And then you did that the cool font and the, yeah. the almost yeah, yeah, like yeah, the yeah. UCF type font yeah. and color and everything. Yeah. But and he he was on that ride. I, I feel that's like Kapansky. Yeah. that's Kapansky. That's yeah, K two no, right there. K two. Yeah. Have to hear my name. But um, but the funny thing was though is that that first time that we rode you me and phil yes because you saw that post that i made mm -hmm. you saw the video and he reached out oh, to me we did sugarloaf did that's we right not? yes yeah. we did sugar so he Loaf. reached out to me and he was <laughs> i'll never forget you're like uh i'm like okay you said let's meet at that 7-eleven Sick, yeah. or yeah, whatever it was Sicko, whatever yeah it yeah and I said, how will I know you? And you said, I'm the big fat guy on the scout. <laughs> fat guy on a little bike, you can't miss it. You'll know, you'll know when I pull up. Yeah. And and I remember that ride. And, and what happened with that ride is Phil came up to me and Phil's, Phil Mays. Now Phil, you'll remember from our Daytona ride video. Yeah? Yeah, so yeah here he is. Yep. So Phil, for the first, I wanna say, I'm going to say at least three to four months of all of us riding together. Uh -huh. Phil always took me in the back and put me right in front of him. Phil is what made me so comfortable oh, really? riding, oh. learning how to ride in a group. I didn't know that. The first time I did 100 miles an hour on a cruiser, oh, wow. was, That's great. Was, was Phil was Phil. right there. Yeah. Phil's Car, such a great cars guy. would get close to me, uh -huh. and Phil would lose his shit and go up <laughs> next to him and start revving his engine. So I learned a lot about group riding, not only from Jason Draper and you, on yeah. how you guys led everything, but from Phil kind of taking me under his wing, like when we did Sugarloaf, he yeah. would tell me, you know, you almost dragged your peg and everything yeah. and like and like i'm like what's that mean <laughs> and uh but but it was really cool so and yeah, yeah we did sugarloaf a couple times and then one thing led to another and yeah. now shit we're going to robbinsville we're yeah doing, from you know, that exactly all the different things that we've done yeah oh, it's been a blast it's been a blast man and and having you as a friend and Amen. It, you know i know you guys have all experienced this right 
being in the writing community opens you up to new people that you never would have met if it wasn't for these little two-wheeled things we call motorcycles. Right. We absolutely love them and there you know this reaffirms my belief that mm -hmm. there's so many good people in the world regardless of where they come from. And and you know it's it's funny it so so often people don't take the time to get to know people yeah. and you'd be surprised the common interest that you have with the people you know nothing about. Right. If you'd see me at work and you'd see Brian at work and you'd see some of our other buddies, you know, at work, you would think there's no way Ron in a suit and tie or Brian all dressed mm -hmm. up for a presentation a polo are, yeah, yeah, are yeah, going to yeah. be hanging out with the dude that's yeah. working at the, you know, the home improvement store or something like yeah. that. But they're some of our best friends in the world. Absolutely. You know, and, yep. and it just goes to show that if you're judging people, your life sucks. I mean, that's all there is <laughs> well, to it. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, I like it, that. If yeah. you're judging people, your life sucks because you don't know their story until you try and find out their story. Yeah. And and you know how many stories, you know how many books we've read on each other, and oh, how yeah. many how many comfort zones have been pushed a little bit. And I'm not talking like riding fast or stupid. No. But maybe you wouldn't normally go out and hang out on a Tuesday night with your yeah. buddies at, yeah. at some place in yeah. St. Cloud, Florida, right? No. Yeah. But all of a sudden it's like, you know what? Yeah, I had a good time. I'm gonna yep. go back for more. Or hey, they're all riding on set. I'm gonna go with them. Or yep. like we start a bunch of us took up golf outside outside of the motorcycle. Yeah, sure, absolutely. It's, there's yeah. so many things that like when you're not judgmental, mm -hmm. it, race, color, creed. Yep. How how people Pol love politics how they walk. politics yeah. yep. one of my best friends is a democrat god bless his soul <laughs> but still if you just put that shit to the side yeah. you get to know the human beings yep. you'd be surprised yep. how strong your circle is and yep. that's what's happened here is our circle you know you have inner circles you have this circle left yeah, circle, yeah, right yeah, circle. you have yeah, all these exactly. other circles yep. but our circle's huge and our circle's strong and our yeah. circle's healthy yep and that's the thing that i've really come to love yeah well the main thing is and what i am dedicating this video to is that you have built the circle wrong we well no no we. no that's no. a we baby no you are you are the gum on the bottom of the shoe of the motorcycle community that sticks all the little pieces of leaves and gravel. And that's me. I'm, we're the leaves of the gravel. You know what it is? You Every, keep us together, man. We, what, we, we have one rule. If you don't mind me saying it, believe it, do whatever you got. All you have to be here is not an asshole. That's right. And if yeah. you're not an asshole, you're in. Yep. It's that simple. Yep. Don't care what you ride, how you ride it, whatever. Um, you know, there's some people that have been assholes and, and we've kicked them out we've had to kick them out that's right yeah. and you know and that sucks but for the most part when you look at three years now we're about three years strong uh there's over almost 1600 members on the 1600 page or like that. do you remember the celebration oh we had where we hit 100 people Jeez, it was crazy. Now we it's hit like, 100 like, people like when are we going to get to 10,000? yeah right? i mean we're at 1600 now but either way it's yeah. um you know it's it's just it's cool i've got so i've got lifelong friends because of all this i love this guy i love you too buddy all right man and thanks hey, for watching all guys. you love you too that's right Two Indians. Two Indians. We're out. Two. So I didn't want to finish this video without making it clear to everybody some very key points about Ron. Number one, Ron is not just a character in our videos. This is a guy that is truly a friend and he's truly somebody that we all care about here in our group. He is really the glue that holds us all together. Now, yeah, we're all still friends and yes, he's moving away. We're all going to stay friends. But he's that one guy that is texting everybody on Thursday and on Friday saying, are you going to be at the ride on Saturday? We're leaving at nine o'clock. Make sure you're there. Don't be late. We're meeting for breakfast early. We're going to this place for lunch. It's going to be awesome. You're going to be there, right? You're going to be there, right? You're going to be there, right? And for that reason, um, we all get there and we all get now granted I don't show up as much as everybody else because like I'm super busy but we all try to be there and you know Ron is very instrumental in doing that. Ron is also the key reason why we have really forged this bond with the Soldier City chapter, the Central Florida chapter of Bikers Against Bullies. And uh, Ron says that, you know, he was bullied as a kid and everything. And, you know, it's an important charity for him. And so it's become an important charity for all of us. And we've supported them in a big way. And speaking of which, uh, we are, and I am, producing a calendar for 2023 
And I want to let you guys know that there's a link down below in the description where you can order that calendar and all the proceeds go to Bikers Against Bullies. All right, so that's number one. And then number two, as far as charitable uh, contributions and concerns that Ron has, is the Suicide Awareness Program. And uh, last year, or maybe the year before, I posted a video on our ride to Savannah, which happens the first weekend of October uh, every year. And um, it's a ride out of the darkness ride in which, man, the first year, I think we had like eight or 10 people. Last year, there were 50 bikes almost and this ride out to Savannah and Tybee Island for a big car show that a friend of his also holds. And that's something that you guys should look out for and look to support as well. But anyway, Ron is instrumental in all this stuff. And I tell you what, let me tell you the most humbling thing about Ron. When we had our second annual get together, our second anniversary celebration of the Two Indians channel, um, Ron orchestrated a lot of our local people to go up to that event to show support to me and Barbara. And I mean, I can't tell you how much that means to me for him to talk 15 people or however many it was to ride all the way up from Central Florida up to Robbinsville in the mountains in North Carolina to support this channel. Uh, that's huge, man. How many of your friends would ride 600 miles to spend three or four days with you and support you like that. And I want to use this opportunity to thank all the people that came out there, but especially Ron, that I know, nobody's ever told me this, but I know he was one of the driving forces of that. So thanks again, and give big wishes to, to Ron down below in the comments section. I know he'll appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Two Indians, I'm out of here. See you soon. More videos are coming. Take care.